this is an issue for all of America and frankly for all of mankind. We have not made the kind of progress that we should have made by now. This requires everything from scientists all the way to the insurance companies working together for the same goal. Think about that. The timing is right. We have the tools and the people to focus on every single patient to improve their health status. We, for the first time, have a way to transform all of medicine. I think that we have to bring everybody together. And one by one, we will conquer this disease. Cancer now kills more people than AIDS and tuberculosis. Our immunotherapy, the pathway to the a cure for cancer, cancer, is a vaccine for cancer. The number of stakeholders that need to be at the table, the insurers, the employers, the pharmaceutical companies, the regulators, the clinicians, the providers, I have every reason to believe that this effort, with a lot of work to put into it, will be successful. Today, you see this amazing leadership at this table to announce what's called the Cancer Moonshot 2020. Multiple experts in the various fields that are required to conquer cancer are aligned here to actually complete the mission. We can now, even for the first time, take chemotherapy, chemotherapy, and make it a targeted chemotherapy. What do I mean by that? There's now a real opportunity to treat chemotherapy like antibiotics. Truly a visionary leader that is needed for cancer right now. His passion and his drive. An enterprise led by someone who has an enormous track record of success. There's no human on earth that could have brought together this group of competitors. Who has the talent, the smart and the ambition to pull together this incredible bandwidth of team. And his just true desire to end this horrible disease. We are going to individualize therapy in medicine, period. We could truly have a vaccine by the year 2020. This is a bold vision which we absolutely fully support. It's ironic that in medicine, one of the um, oaths that we give is do no harm and heal thyself. In chemotherapy, we're doing extreme harm. The treatment I'm offering to her is called seven and three. This is the same treatment I offered to patients in 1977 with the same dreadful results. All our training has been around just below maximum tolerated dose. You want to know what's not sustainable about healthcare in the cancer field? The wasted therapies that really don't benefit patients because you treat empirically. The way the cancer cell grows, it tricks your body into believing it's normal. If we can activate the human immune system again, letting your body know this is a bad cell by actually counterintuitively giving you lower doses of chemotherapy and activating your immune system. When I was three years old, my father died of lung cancer. Uh, I never knew my father. I don't want children around this world to have that same feeling, that same emptiness. Um, I want a message of hope for all the children in the world. This dance of proteins in your human body for cancer is our challenge to find God's particle every day, dynamically, in every patient, all the time. And the amount of data that we're talking about is incredibly enormous. We have all the information highway infrastructure that has been developed. The next step is to connect the citizens to their record. You have six billion base pairs times 20,000 genes times 200,000 RNA times 10 million proteins times 10,000 protein pathways so that you can find the one protein pathway, so you can find the one protein so you can target. It's like the Matrix movie called I Am The One. 2% of cancer patients in this country participate in clinical trials. Think about what we could do if we make that tenfold higher. The infrastructure that is put in place is going to make it possible for thousands of patients to
participate in trials and potentially benefit from the strategy. That is not some hypothetical. We're actually doing that really in real time as we sit and speak. We have the technology that we have been dreaming about. The timing is right because of the advancement of everything. Going back to my experience with NASA, and I watched how these astronauts were being monitored and their vital signs. I said, today, every human being could be an astronaut. We have the capacity for every human being to be an astronaut, for every human being to have their vital signs monitored in real time. Nowhere is individualized therapy needed more than in cancer to improve survival and quality of life for cancer patients. So that in times of illness, we could monitor you and find exactly what needs to be done.